If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Kathleen. I've taught sex ed in the classroom in both private and public schools. I've lectured to undergrads and I've trained teachers, counselors, youth serving professionals, and social workers on how to provide medically accurate and age appropriate sex education. Now I take my decades worth of experience in the sexual health field and advise parents on how to have the sex talks in the home. Being a parent myself, I know what it's like to get asked the sex question in the middle of the grocery store and then wonder to yourself, did I do a good job answering that? I started making videos to help parents have the modern day sex talks because many parents I met knew that they needed to start the talks but didn't quite know how. Many other parents just need some reassurance to know that they're on the right track when it comes to the topics. And some parents need a little bit more handholding as they are uncomfortable with a lot of the topics that I'm recommending due to past trauma, their own lack of sex ed, and a variety of other reasons. So wherever you are on your parenting or caregiver's journey, I'm here to advise you, cheer you on, support you, and motivate you to start the sex talks and keep them going. The simple answer is now. There's a lot to cover around sex, sexuality, and sexual health. So my recommendation is if you can, start as early as possible. You can have simple talks in the toddler years that give you a solid foundation to then build upon those topics and expand those conversations as they get older. For example, starting early with your toddler using medically accurate terms for the body parts. Getting comfortable saying penis, vagina, vulva, anus, scrotum will hopefully make it easier to have talks about bodily autonomy, what are private parts, where do babies come from, and of course, what is sex. The vast majority of kids are ready for the sex talks. They have been learning loads about the world around them since they were small, and they have no idea about the taboo nature of sex in the majority of nations around the world. For example, many young kids touch their genitals for pleasure because it feels good. It's when that behavior receives a negative response from an adult or parent that the kid starts to sense that what they were doing was wrong or bad. Parents, what I would encourage you to do is instead of asking, how do I know my kid is ready for the sex talks? Ask yourself, am I ready to explain X, Y, and Z? And if your answer is no, figure out why. Is it because you're unsure how to explain that sex topic in an age appropriate way? Is it because you don't know if it's the right time and you're afraid of giving them too much information too soon? Or is it because you think the sex talks will ruin their childhood or take away their innocence? Take the time to figure out why you're uncomfortable and not ready, and then we can devise a game plan for having the talks. First off, if you did this at an early stage in your parenting career, don't feel bad. You're here now watching this video, wanting to do better, and that's very commendable. The way to rectify this is to be honest with your kid. Go to them and say, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. You ask the question, whatever the question was, and I didn't give you an answer. And from now on, I want to do better. I want you to come to me with any questions that you have, and I hope you forgive me for not knowing better at that time. Then go on and answer their question, showing your kid that you made mistakes, that adults make mistakes, and apologizing isn't a sign of weakness, it's a sign of growth. Nope, you're not too late. Research shows that young people want their parents to talk to them frequently, early, and on a wide variety of topics and that parents should be open, honest, and realistic about sex. So you're not too late, but you may find that your kid doesn't say too much when you're talking. I would encourage you to start this conversation with them by acknowledging that they may have heard about some of these topics in school, from friends, and on social media, but you want to ensure that they have medically accurate information. And over the next few weeks and months, you're going to be covering a lot of topics around sex, sexuality, and sexual health. And maybe even give them a book that you've bought and read and let them know that you want to have a discussion about these topics with them. But you're going to keep the conversation short, you're not going to lecture them, and you want to share your family values, your religious, cultural, or personal beliefs about the topic, and you're open to hearing their opinions and beliefs around the topics as well. Because your 13-year-old definitely has opinions. They are developing personal values and opinions on a variety of topics, and they're learning how to share those opinions with you, and potentially with romantic and or sexual partners in the future. So those are the four most common questions that parents ask me, and I hope that these encourage you to start the sex talks and keep them going. Don't hesitate to reach out to me if you want some tailored advice on my website. I'm Kathleen, and I'll be back with another video.